Welcome back. We're continuing our Blue Apron uh, preparation and cooking videos. Uh, we made steak and tomato avocado salad in the last video. So in this video we're going to go ahead and make zucchini and mozzarella pizza paninis. So you can see the card. Again we get a little bit of a description. We get an ingredients list and an ingredients uh, pictures over here. You can see that I have everything out already. The olive oil was not included uh, with what comes in the packaging, but everything else that you see on the table uh, is shipped to us by Blue Apron. On the back of the uh, card, they give us step-by-step -step instructions. In this case, we've got six steps. So we're gonna go ahead and just start following the card. So join me while we do this. All right, so the first step, says we're going to prepare the ingredients so we're going to wash and dry all of our produce produce being all of that then i will cut the zucchini which are these two little guys right here we're going to cut these into thin slices i'm going to peel and chop the garlic we got one big clove of garlic uh, we've got uh, some panini rolls over here i'll half those for our sandwiches we'll end up pressing those like a panini press we gotta cut up our, chop up our mozzarella, which really means I'm gonna be pulling it apart into little chunks. Uh, basil here. We're gonna get those off the stems and, and cut the leaves probably in half. And a quarter and uh, de seed the lemon. That's this bad boy. We're gonna peel the carrots. If you don't have a peel, uh, carrot peeler, which I do have one, you can use a, a knife, a sharp knife will work. But uh, I happen to have a peeler. And then cut off and discard the ends of the romaine. That's going to mean we're going to cut the bottoms of these off. And then we're going to just do a fine chop on that so that uh, what we're ending up to make for the majority of that is this is going to be a salad, which will go as a side to our ninis, which you see them there being pressed in the thing. And we're also going to have a tomato sauce to, that will go directly on the panini. So I'll get this started and then we'll catch back up. So we finished step one, which you can see is all the prep work, cutting everything up. So step two is we're going to start making the zucchini. So it says we're going to take a large pan, which I've already added a little bit of olive oil. It says one tablespoon. Uh, it's medium high heat. And uh, we're going to take the zucchini and we're going to take half of the garlic that I've finely chopped. We're going to dump that in there and cook it halfway through so it's about three to five minutes. Um, it says the zucchini will soften and the garlic will brown lightly and then we're going to take it off the heat and wipe out the pan. So we're going to do that now, starting with the zucchini to the pan. So you can see the olive oil in there again. Just put the zucchini straight in. And then about half of the garlic. We'll just go right down the halfway spot and dump that in. We'll save that half for later. And this is three to five minutes so I will set the timer just to keep ourselves honest to five minutes. And we're just going to let this kind of saute up and soften the uh, zucchini up. We started the zucchini so it says to go ahead and uh, go on to step three. That's going to be our tomato sauce uh, which we have here. Nice little can of tomato sauce. And we're going to add some more olive oil to a pot, medium high heat, and we're going to put the remaining garlic in there. We're going to soften that up. It's going to take maybe a minute. Then we'll dump in the tomato sauce, uh, cook it for four to six minutes or until slightly reduced in volume, remove from heat, season with salt and pepper. So salt and pepper are right here. Let's get started with this one. There's two teaspoons. One, two, yeah, a little extra. 
remain garlic. Now, this is going to take a second because I just turned on the oven, or stove top rather. So now that we've got uh, the garlic in, I'll let that sit for a second. And then it'll warm up and we'll let it cook for one minute, like the direction said. Again, just trying to get the oil and the garlic so that it seasons the oil. See the garlic's browned up a bit. So, and then the timer says we're done. So we'll stop that. I'm going to spin my other garlic, which is for my tomato sauce, just so I don't get anything burning over here. And you can see it's starting to soften and golden up a little bit too. So that'll be ready for the tomato sauce. The instructions say to take this out and set it into a serving dish. So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna this so we're going to go ahead and add in the tomatoes into our garlic. You can see I've already poured it in. So you can see I'm starting to uh, stir this together. You can see some, some chunks of the garlic in the, the tomato. This will make a nice sauce. This has to cook for four to six minutes per the instructions. Next step says is assemble the panini. So we're going to uh, go ahead and lay out our paninis. And per the instructions, place the rolls on a clean dry work surface, cut side up. Divide half of the moss between the rolls. Uh, top with the cooked zucchini, basil, one third of our Parmesan cheese, one third of our tomato sauce, which is cooking, and then we'll top it again with uh, the other half of the mozzarella cheese, and that'll be our sandwich, and then we'll put them on and press them. So we're just laying these on, trying to get a decent cheese base for each one of these. I'm going ahead and I'm adding in the zucchini garlic that we cooked. Trying not to drop it all over the surface. Uh, just trying to be somewhat neat about it. Adding the basil now to our paninis. Directions say one third of the Parmesan cheese. And then my tomato sauce should be ready to go on top. Let me just get a little bit in here. Now we're going to wait for the tomato sauce, which has about 20 seconds. So if you want to see the tomato sauce is thickened up a little bit. The directions say to use one third of the sauce. Obviously, it's uh, an eyeball measuring, so I'm just going to top each of the sandwiches with a bit of this nice hot sauce. This will help heat up the cheese. As you can see, we finished putting the tomato sauce on. It's looking pretty good. It uh, says in the instructions that we need to add the rest of the mozzarella, so this is getting to be a pretty beefy sandwich. Uh, but remember that this is a panini, so we will press it down. Um, hopefully it'll stay on long enough for me to get to that point. But they definitely smell delicious, and I'm kind of excited to see how this is going to end up tasting. Behind me I've got a pan warming up to medium heat. We'll add some oil to it. What I'm doing right now is just juicing these lemons out. We're going to go ahead and put the sandwiches together, and then we'll take them over to the heat, and we'll begin the press. So just kind of smash that down a little bit. These will get pressed down really uh, when we get them on the plate, or on the pan rather. Uh, and then we will put a, another pan, a nice heavy cast iron on top of it to smash them down. And that's going to serve as our panini press. Straight on. Be a tight fit. I don't have a bigger pan. So these will work. They can fit nice and snug. So there you go. Four in. And this pan should look familiar. So right on top. And that's our press. We'll let that sit. Looking at the instructions, it says cook them up, place a heavy pot on top, press down, cook 
occasionally pressing down, so I'll have to go back to that and cook on that four to six minutes per side. So we're actually going to have to flip those over. You can see in the picture they're using a little metal spatula to flip them. So we'll do that as well. Uh, or until they're lightly toasted and the cheese is all nice and melted. If the pan seems dry, it says go ahead and add some extra olive oil. While we're doing that, we're going to make our side salad. Got a nice big bowl here. Everything's going to go into the dish. While the paninis cook, make the dressing in a bowl. Combine the remaining Parmesan cheese, the juice of the lemons, uh, salt and pepper are going to be here again. And we're going to whisk together that with a tablespoon of olive oil until it's combined. So let's do that. I've already juiced the lemon. I'll put that in the bowl. Just enough so that I can kind of see it in the bowl. You can see it in the bowl. I personally prefer kosher salt, but you could use regular salt or you can use sea salt. Again, just enough to see that it's present. It wants to be known. A tablespoon of olive oil. That's a generous tablespoon. And the directions say take all of that plus the Parmesan cheese. All into the bowl, and we're just going to whisk this up. Get the cheese, Parmesan cheese dressing. From there, this is to go ahead and toss everything in, and we're going to mix it up. And then we'll be waiting for the uh, paninis, and we'll serve with the side of the sauce for dipping. Cucumbers, carrots and our romaine. You can toss these with the uh, salad utensils, you know, fork and spoon. Or you can be like me and just toss them with your hands. And the idea is to just try to get some of that dressing in there coating and you can start to see some of the ingredients are coming up wet and you're seeing some of the pepper and whatnot. And also make sure that uh, I'm separating up the cucumbers because they tend to stick together if I don't. But that's it. This salad's good to go. Paninis are done. Salad is done. I'm going to go ahead and plate one of these up just so you can see what it looks like. Put this over. Again, this is for serving of four. Side. And there you have it. Zucchini and mozzarella, <laughs> mozzarella pizza paninis with a side salad. Blue apron recipe. I'll let you know how it tastes. Good salad. This is going to be messy. You can definitely get the, the sauce, the cheese, and I got a little bite of zucchini. I like it. It's a good sandwich. Zucchini and mozzarella pizza paninis. Check the plate. Another demolished meal. It's usually a good sign. I have one. Two thumbs up. Pretty sure my wife agreed. This one's double stars all the way around. Check back again. Uh, next week we'll be getting another order from Blue Apron. And I'll be happy to share the unboxing experience as well as the two recipes that we receive next week. See you then. If you like the video and you think the recipe looks good, do me a favor, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, uh, and give me some comments below. Thanks.